Oh, there's a body on the road over there, by the way. Oh, there's something really wrong with that body. I don't know if we need to look at that. All right, answer the phone. We got problems here. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Accident. And yes, folks, we're back once again, and we're ready to jump into some more cases here. So, you guys have been showing a lot of love and support on this series, and as you can see, we've completed a fair bit of the cases, but we have this one to complete. This is called the Swedish Countryside, and it appears that a box truck has hit a red car head-on, and there's a body outside of it uh, that looks kind of disturbing. So, we're going to jump in, solve some more cases. If you guys are enjoying this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, here we are. We're looking for the crash. Uh, looks like, oh, is that a cow crossing? And uh-oh. Oh, here we go. And oh, dear. Yep, there's a body on the outside. That's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and we need to turn on the hazard lights. As always, we're going to call 911 or 112. We're, uh, we're across the seas. Okay, pick up. Come on, here we go. And yep, thank you for calling the ambulance. It's on the way. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and assess the situation real quick. All right. And, oh, no. Yep, there's a body on the outside. Hold on, let's go and pop this open here. Let's get our first aid kit and let's get the emergency triangle. And we need to hurry up and kill the ignition on the cars. By the way, there's... Wait, where did he come from? Uh, oh, there's a big hole in the uh, the window of the truck. I'm pretty sure it's the truck driver. Wear your seatbelts, folks. Okay, let's go ahead and kill the car ignition here. Let's go ahead and get out. We've got an emergency happening somewhere. What is going on? Is there a fire somewhere? Oh, there's a fire back there. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, hold on. Go back here. Uh, hold on. Grab it. Uh, put that down. And grab this. I didn't realize the car is on fire back here and they're burning to death. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, here, go out. Go out. Uh, hold on, lady. Oh, there's a kid in the back. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh, they might be burning to death here. It's fine. Why won't this put it out? Uh-oh. Uh, you got another one? I like how everybody keeps a fire extinguisher in the back of their car. It's actually a very useful thing. Consider doing that. Okay, come on. Is there something I should be doing? Actually, am I supposed to turn the ignition off? Hold on. Maybe that's what's keeping this uh, flame going. Nope. I can't actually get in there. Oh, that's bad. All right. Fine. Come on. Actually, there it goes. All right, so fire's out, so we're good. All right, can we turn off the ignition? Hold on. Turn that off. Whew. We almost didn't make it there, folks. All right, let's go ahead and put out our emergency triangles, and we have one more ignition to turn off. All right, one emergency triangle's out, and let's go ahead and do the other one here. Actually, it's in the back of my car, so let's grab it, and we'll put it down the street. So, I've already kind of gathered what happened here, because, or at least I have a theory. Uh, I want to explain it to you guys here in a second. I need to go ahead and turn off the ignition and help the people. But there was, a, like, a cow crossing or something in the back, so I'm assuming that had something to do with it. Hold on, can I get... How do I get inside of this car? Is this open? Oh, here we go. All right, let's go and get inside. Oh, sir, you look a little messed up here. Let's go and turn that off. All right, so those are out. So we need to get our location. We need to check on victims. Let's go and do victims first. Uh, that way we can assure that everybody's okay. Or not okay. Now, this guy looks pretty rough. Uh, check for breathing. Uh, what do we have here? All right, you are, I guess, in decent shape. You've got a little wound here on your arm. All right. Yeah, that's not really good. I figured he wasn't in that bad of shape, but his life bar's pretty far down. All right, let's go and hop out. We need to get back to, uh, to the people in the car. Obviously, Mr. Truck Driver, I think he's dead. He flew through the window. So let's try to help this lady on oh, her door's jammed. Oh, it's open. Okay, so let's shake her. Her head's against the dash. I feel like that's bad. Right, unbuckle that. Open the airway. Come on, lady. Can you hear me? Oh, she's got a wound to her neck. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be kind of tragic, I think. On, right, is she breathing? Oh, she's dead too. Okay, that's kind of sad. All right, let's go ahead and try to pry open the back door. Can I get to the kid? Please tell me a little kid or August here. Is August okay? Hold on, let's see. Can you hear me? Open the airway. Okay, check for breathing. 
And what do we got here? Uh, he is alive too. Okay. And I guess last but not least, we've got to check on this guy. This guy's probably dead. Uh, just gonna say it now. Wear your seatbelts, folks. Okay. Yeah, you got wounds all over yourself here. Like, wait, did a bear get to you? Okay, that's fine. All right. It's gonna be a miracle if this guy's actually alive here. Okay, check the airway. You got any breathing? And let's see. You guessed it. He's alive. Wait. How the heck's he alive? And he's actually in the best shape of anybody in this situation. How does that even happen? Okay, let's go ahead and set the GPS real quick. I am so confused by that. All right, we need to get to the kids. Let's go ahead and set nav real quick. Okay, it's going to get a location to the ambulance on the way. All right, let's go help the kid because he's in the worst shape. And then we got to help the person in the car. And then the person that got, that got ejected is somehow like in the best shape, so we can help them. It's fine. Okay, so kid needs help. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and put our gloves on. Uh, apparently, it's going to be CPR. Uh, let's go ahead and open the airway. Put that on there. There we go. And artificial ventilation. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come on. There we go. All right, so that's good. Check for breathing. What do we got here? You, are you still breathing? All right, so I need to put you in the recovery position. What the heck is that? Uh, am I supposed to grab you somehow? Oh, I'm supposed to grab the arm here. Oh, is the recovery position the fetal position? Okay, move this. Okay, that looks very uncomfortable, by the way. There we go. All right, turn over. And you are recovering? Oh, hold on, I gotta do something with your head here. Open the airway. There we go. He looks kind of twisted. This is fine. All right, so I need to perform CPR on the next non-breathing adult. Well, that would be possibly the person in the car here. All right, so let's get inside. I mean, you don't look like you're in that bad of shape. Uh, oh, you're trapped by the seatbelt. Um, all right, undo that. Okay, let's go ahead and pull you out. Uh, hopefully the kid's gonna be okay just sitting there. All right, let's go. Oh boy. Um, let's give you first aid. I guess we're doing CPR again on this one. So let's go ahead and get the mask ready. Open airway. And what are we checking down here? Oh, there's something we can do down there. Here, put that. And, oh, chest compressions. All right, here we go. I am actually kind of bad at this game. Oh, 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 I don't know if you're going to survive this. Oh, we just failed. Wait, how did we fail? Did he die? Or was it the kid? Oh, this is awkward. So, how do we rescue the kid faster? Oh boy. All right, we're finishing up the artificial breathing. So I went over, I took care of the kid a little bit faster. So I feel like I'm gonna be good here. And okay, we're done. And here comes the ambulance. So I don't get it. There's a guy that's been ejected. Are we not gonna help him? I mean, somehow he's in the best shape, but yeah, that's the thing. All right, so here we are. And there's the guy that flew out and somehow he's okay. That's kind of weird. So I had a suspicion here. Uh, let's look back here. Puddles, skid marks. This is going to be probably, yep, that's a clue there. So he was avoiding an animal, which, do I need to look at the sign back here? What's this? Is this puddles? No. Can I go back to the sign? Yep, look at that. Oh, it's beware of wild. Wait, how's that irrelevant? I mean, that's kind of what happened, I think. By the way, I think that's like a boar or something. That's totally not a cow. All right, so let's go up here. So we've got six more clues. There's quite a few clues on this one. So they skidded out. We had another skid mark here, another one here. Obviously, you have the point of impact here. Uh, you had the person flying out, which that was a thing. You got the driver getting ejected. So we have that. It's Jacob did that. And then this lady, I don't know what the heck she was doing. How in the heck did you fly back so fast in order to hit this person? I mean, you must have been, like, trailing them, right? All right, so we have skid marks here. Uh, anything back here? I don't think so. It's got to be all in the accident scene itself, I think. Ah, look at this. There's footprints. So there was a boar on the road. All right, so it's boar, skid, crash, eject, and then lady goes flying into the back. But there's still one more clue. Now, what is the clue? 
Uh, I can't actually figure that one out. So we have her skid marks. Is there a point of impact back here that I need to actually capture? Or, or what was that? I don't know. Huh. Why do I feel like there's something in here? Wait. So the guy got ejected. Is that because... Oh, he wasn't wearing a seat belt. Gotcha. Okay, so let's see. We have the boar crossing the road. And then you have the person skidding out. The point of impact. No seatbelt. Uh, let's see. Ejection. And then lady flies into the back of the car. Boom! Scenario is finished. Okay, so the one guy has a spinal injury, but somehow he's alive. The guy that flew out. And then you got the other guy that uh, I actually saved, so he's good. What about the kid? Uh, oh, yeah, the, the lady died. Obviously, we knew she was dead. She kind of hit the back of the trailer there. And what about Mr. August? Yeah, he returned to school. Just don't read the actual text in there because it's kind of sad. It's good. All right, so that's another scenario completed here. All right, so we have a set of crashes here. We have a highway disaster. We'll probably save that for the next episode. Distractions. And then we have something called Desert Encounter. That sounds pretty good, too. Uh, maybe we'll save that one. Maybe we'll go to distractions. So it's in Poland. Let's start the simulation. All right. Hey, we're on a bike. Wait, are we going to get hit? Uh, that'd be terrible. Okay, so I'm waiting for a car to hit us here. Uh, distractions. Why do I feel like... Oh, I can see a flipped car over there. Oh, somebody was distracted at the red light. By the way, I don't have a shadow either. So maybe I'm just a ghost. All right, so we have a collision at a three-way? Is that a three-way? No, it's a four-way intersection. Uh, looks like somebody was probably distracted. So we had a car, red light here. Car went flying there. Let's go ahead and call emergency. Oh, I already have my phone on me. Uh, do we have reception out here? Let's go 112. Oh, there's a body on the road over there, by the way. Oh, there's something really wrong with that body. I don't know if we need to look at that. All right, answer the phone. We got problems here. Thanks for informing us. Ambulance will be there as soon as possible. All right, secure the area. Do you guys have cones? Everybody's got some sort of cone or flare in the back. All right, here we go. Emergency triangle. Let's go ahead and do these, and then we're going to do the ignitions real quick. Uh, I saw something fairly disturbing on the road. I think maybe one of the drivers was ejected, and they look like they're really, really injured. All right, let's go ahead and turn off your ignition. Uh, oh... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're definitely very injured. Hold on, can I open up the door? Oh, the doors are jammed. Uh, you wouldn't have to have a triangle in the back of your thing, do you? No, that's jammed, too. Uh, how do we secure the rest of the situation? Oh, we've already marked it, so we need to turn the ignition off. How do we get inside? All right, so the windshield needs something heavy in order to get in. Can we throw a trash can at it? No? Uh, do we have a rock? Uh, this is going to be one of those obscure cases, isn't it? Okay, look for something heavy. What do I need heavy to get in? Oh, by the way, it's leaking oil or something. Uh, that's probably not good. Can I just throw the guy at it? This guy looks like he's definitely dead. Um, okay. Let's see. Do you have something heavy in the back of your car? I mean, we could throw an extinguisher through it, right? That's something heavy. Hold on, let's go up here. Oh, there's somebody in this car. Okay, come on. All right, break it with the extinguisher. There we go. Look at that. Okay, get down in here. This looks like it's really, really dangerous. And Oh, is that a... What is this in here? Uh, turn off the ignition. Okay, let's move the airbag aside. There is a person in here. Uh, we're going to assess the situation. Let's unbuckle the seatbelt and drop you on your face. Hello? Let's go ahead and pull this one out. Uh, what do we got? Maybe this one's still alive. I'm pretty sure the other person was ejected. All right, are you alive? Oh, you got a pretty bad cut there. Hello? Okay, open the airway. What do we got here? Check for breathing. Okay, and we have some sort of head injury. All right, this person's still alive. So this one is uh, in pretty bad shape. This person's probably dead. Uh, if you're alive, this is going to be a miracle. So you got a scrape on your face. Uh, let's go ahead. You got a wound there. Check for breathing there. Okay, uh, check. You got a wound there, and then you definitely have a leg injury, and it seems to be, uh, spurting. And, oh, he's alive. Okay, that's weird. And, hold on, let's go ahead and check on this one. All right, hello, lady. Uh, you don't look like you're too bad. I think she's actually breathing, too. Uh, Could have swore I saw her move there. All right, check for breathing. 
And you're good there. Okay, check for possible hazards. Well, there's definitely a hazard of oil like spilling out of the thing there. By the way, I need to check my location. Can I do it on your GPS? Oh, it's jammed. Uh, okay, so we can do it by street sign, I think. Wait, is there any street signs? Do we, can we read the location, please? Okay, we got one over here. I have to walk around this thing. You gotta be kidding me. I have a feeling we're gonna lose somebody here. Okay, this is our location. Okay, this one guy is really dying. Uh, lo, that's an oil puddle. Okay, so that's something. All right, so that can cause a fire. We need to get this person bandaged up. Okay, put gloves on. Quit telling me what to do. I need to fix this person. Okay, we need to... Oh, and we've already failed the scenario. This one's gonna be a little challenging here because the first aid... Yeah, this kind of started really late. Like, I don't feel like we're here quick enough and they want to talk on the phone, so I feel like I might have to rewind it even further here in order to finish this. Yeah, this needs to be uh, lifted up and... Oh, oh, okay. Now yeah, this is great. Oh, yep, and we failed again. All right, we got to this guy a lot sooner. All right, so we need to somehow stop this uh, the bleeding here. Uh, so we got scissors. So cut the trousers. Oh, geez, that is... Uh, it's a little disturbing. It's fine. Okay. Apply the bandage. There we go. Remove the belt. Oh, we had a belt. I guess we need to put the belt around and stop the bleeding. All right. So we might have helped this one, at least for a little bit. Uh, we need to help you. By the way, there's oil spilling out of the car. So we got to make sure we don't, uh, or at least that doesn't catch on fire. Which, by the way, I've extinguished her by the car, so I think we'll be okay. All right. Chest compressions are happening, and we're good there. Probably going to have to do some artificial breathing. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Artificial ventilation. Uh, we gotta do two of these. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and check for breathing. Alright, are we good? And so we don't have a fire. Oh! I saw the oil spilling out of the car. I thought maybe we were gonna have some issues there, but the ambulance is here. They're gonna take the victims off. I don't know how that one guy wasn't dead. He seemed like he was really dead. Alright, so... We can go ahead and... I don't know why it's telling me all this stuff on screen. I think it's glitched out. So we need to figure out the cause. Obviously... Hold on, let's close the door here. We've got a point of impact here. We have Mr. Dead Guy that got flung over here. So that's two of four. Uh, I don't think there's anything to really look at here. Obviously the car just flew off. By the way, just ignore all the text. It's just a thing that's happening. Now, there is a red light here. Is that a clue? Did they run the stop sign or something? Somebody was distracted. Hold on. Let's check her. Where are your skid marks at? This is like a direct impact. Wait. So, there's no skid marks. So, that means that she flew through the intersection? Maybe? Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a smartphone. She was distracted. All right, so that makes sense. So she was coming this way. She hit them here, which they had to been coming through the intersection here. And then they wound up over here. So I think the other clue's got to be a seatbelt, right? Because that person obviously wasn't wearing it. Can I go below here? No, I can't actually climb under this again. Uh, that's kind of weird. All right, so those are jammed. So it's not the seatbelt. Huh. Wait a minute. So she ran a light, right? So can I highlight this? Ah, here we go. That's the traffic light clue I was looking for. Boom. Okay, so let's put these in order. Obviously, she was distracted by the cell phone. She ran the red light. Point of impact. Driver ejected. Boom. Scenario finished. All right. Are we good? There we go. Success. So, is she gonna be charged? She's been dr deeply traumatized, but question is, did anybody else die? Maybe we saved them all. Uh, let's see. There was no damage to the brain. Hey, the guy's actually okay. It was the fact he is in a wheelchair, but still. I, I feel like she should have been charged with something, right? And then this guy didn't suffer any major injuries. Huh. I feel like she got off a little easy there. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. We've got a couple cool cases coming up. So if you want to see the desert encounter and the highway disaster, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.